Chala Wong as well. It's your brother Lahab. Uh, back at you again with a quick little video. Sit down. You know, spirit was on me. So I just ran with it. And um, <clears throat> before I get into anything, I'm going to start off by giving infinite honor, infinite glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kal Kodesh. And double honors to the elders and apostles of a great millstone who rule well and teach this truth 100% and give a great example to us younger brothers. And peace and blessing to the I came up under the elders pushing the same truth throughout the four winds with all faith, sincerity, and diligence. To you we say Shalom. And um, spirit was just on me, you know, to, uh, to basically uh, speak on... <clears throat> How we, how we warn, how we uh, try to warn our people, you know what I'm saying, about what's about to go down, and you know, and they just they don't hear it, man. You know, they they look at us crazy, they look at us stupid, dumbfounded, like we just don't know what we're talking about. You know, I'm gonna just get right into it, man. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 10. It says, To whom shall I speak and give warning that they might hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot hearken. That's right, man. You know, our people, their ears are uncircumcised, man. You know, they... they you two thirds, you walk around with that foreskin still on you, man. You know, instead of removing it, you know, so that you could, so so that you could uh, be renewed. You know, get rid of that old foreskin. You know, what I'm saying to be renewed. You know, that's why it says your your ears are uncircumcised because you have a you have a veil over it, man, and you don't want to hear it. You know, because y'all rebel, man. It says, and they cannot hearken. That's right, you cannot, so I can, you cannot hear. Behold, the words of the Lord, Yahweh, is, is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it, man. You know, and that's right, man. The, the words, the words that we all speak, you know, they are, they are to you two-thirds as a reproach, man. You know, and y'all do not delight in them. You know, you constantly think, oh man, y'all crazy. This, 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 it's all about love. Da, da, da. Man, look, the Lord don't love everybody, man. You know, and I guess it's the way we bring it to you straight up. You know, that that you just don't want it. But hey, oh well, man. You know, we're bringing it to you how the Lord want us to bring it to you, man. Like men giving you a warning but you got that foreskin over your ears man <clears throat> I'm gonna jump to verse uh, I'm gonna jump to verse 19 in Jeremiah 6 and 19 it says here O earth behold I will bring evil upon this people even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected. That's right, man. You know, our, our ancestors went off, you know what I'm saying? And right now, you know, you two-thirds, y'all are continuously going off, man. You know, and you, and you do not want to hearken. You do not want to listen, man. Them same spirits are back. That went off. Them same spirits are back, man. You know, that's what that's why we we have to continuously pray, man, that the Lord keep us in his truth, man. You know, that the Lord continuously deal with us. You know. And um uh, I'm gonna go to verse This is Jeremiah chapter seven, verse eight. It says, Behold, Ye trust in lying words that cannot profit. You know, and that's right, man. You know, two-thirds of our people, they trust in these lying words that the uh, 
that can't profit them nothing, man. How about going in these church houses, you know what I'm saying, or being uh, convinced by these other false Israelite camps, you know what I'm saying, that they, you know, how can I put it, getting, uh, being uh, convinced by these false Israelite camps, you know, because if you don't have, if you don't have 100% of the truth, you don't have it, man. You know, it says verse nine. Ye will ye st will ye steal, murder, and commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal, and walk after other gods whom ye know not. And that's right, man. Our people do all those things. You know, our people, our people's Jake is is ruthless, man. Especially nowadays, man. 2019, man. Jake, Jake is ruthless, man. Jake will kill you over stepping on his shoes or some shit, man. You know? And it says, uh, will he steal, murder, and commit adultery? Yeah, man, they do all that. Commit adultery and go going after these other gods. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be Muslim, you know what I'm saying? Christianity, you know, whatever... What, Whatever mood they in, man. You know, Jake got uh, Jake got moods, man. He don't know what he want, man. Because he's so lost. And here we are. We, you know, starting with our elders and apostles, man. We, we push this word week in and week out, man. We push it week in and week out to the best of our ability, man. You know, constantly trying to flood the internet with this truth, man. And <laughs> Jake just don't want it. Jake just just doesn't want it. This is uh Jeremiah chapter three verse verse twenty. It's like whew. verse twenty. Surely as a wife treacherously departed from her husband, so have ye dealt treacherously with me, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. And that's right, man. You Two thirds deal treacherously with the Lord, man. You know, basically spitting in his face, turning the back on him, man. And this is our time. This is and and we're in the grace period, man. Where the Lord is having mercy upon his upon his uh people. But guess what? They oh man, we deal. Jesus Christ died for our sins, so we're good, man. As long as I, as long as I feel in my heart, I'm. I'm saved and I'm I'm gonna be saved. Just don't know how lost <laughs> our people just don't know how lost they are, man. They just don't know how lost they are. Just lost. Lost, man. Just lost. People are just lost, man. <laughs> this is a uh, hold on. Salaki. There you go. It's Isaiah chapter thirty, verse nine. It says that this is a rebellious people lying children children that will not he that will not hear the law of the Lord Yahweh which say to the seers see not and the seers are the prophets that are well basically the men out there pushing this truth man you know we say to the seers see not to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things speak unto us smooth things prophesy deceits you know i'm pretty sure if we if we was on the highways and byways uh just out there oh you gotta love everyone and this and that and yada 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 hearing t telling them things that they want to hear 
man, we'd probably have millions and billions of followers, man. You know? Oh, everyone can be saved. You can be saved. You. If we were doing shit like that, man, they'd love it. They'd eat it up, man. Our people would eat that up, man. They would love that. But, hey, man, we got to bring it to you. We got to bring it to you truth, truthfully, man, how it's supposed to be brought. And, 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 and it is what it is, man. If you don't, If you don't like it, then it's not for you, man, you know? The Lord don't want you to have it, man. Because the scriptures say, you don't choose the Lord. The Lord chooses you, man. Real talk. That's why, that's why we can only hope and pray that the Lord continue, continue to deal with us. And, um, there you go. And, uh, <clears throat> Close it out with this scripture, and and for long, man, when it's all said and done, you know, when that time come, and and Lord willing, hopefully it it comes quick, and Lord willing, all the men of GMS are of the elect, man. When we get beamed up, you're gonna know in that time, man, that that we we were those men. When all this hell start coming down upon you, coming down, coming down upon you heathens and you uh, two thirds, y'all are gonna know, man, that those men were the true men, the true prophets of the Lord, man. This is Jeremiah 28 and uh, verse 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war, of evil, and of pestilence. You know, that's right, man. Before the Lord got ready to destroy anything, you know what I'm saying, or or go to war, he always sent out his prophets, man, you know, to, to warn the people of what's about to go down. They would. It's that same case, man. Those same prophets are back today, man. <clears throat> Verse 9, the prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord has truly sent him. You know what I'm saying? And that's right, man. Y'all are going to know. Y'all are going to know that the that uh, we, we were the true prophets, man, that the Lord sent out. We were the true ones, the true prophets of the Lord, man. Lord willing, we are of the elect. And Lord willing, the Lord keep keep this spirit upon us to keep pushing his truth, man. You know? And with that, you know, I want to again, I want to close it out by giving infinite honor and infinite glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekar Kodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of a great millstone who pushed his truth 100%. And peace and blessing to the I came up under the elders pushing the same truth throughout the four winds with all faith and sincerity and diligence. To you we say shalom.